welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and in this question we are going to see the question modular exponential for a large number so don't worry the heading must be very large but the question is very easy the question says that the question provides you with three integers x n m and you will have to turn me x to the power m and you have to take the mod of it right you have to take the mod of it that is a remainder while divided by capital m right this is the only problem you have to do right now, to, to understand this problem, we have to understand one basic concept that is applicable on the brute force as well as, as, well as the optimized approach. What is the concept I am trying to tell you? That it is about percentile mode. So, what do I want to tell you about this is that suppose you have A and you have B, right? You have A and you have B. Now, the property I want to define about mode is that A into B percentile mode is actually equals to A percentile mode into b percentile mode percentile mode this is the property i want to tell you about that is you can take percentile mode any number of times it will give the same result when taken one time only it, it, it will give the same result when taken one time also right so uh, this was the concept i want to tell you about the proof is i can just i don't want i don't know how to prove it using theory but i can just prove it with taking the number suppose you have a as 10 and you have b as uh, 20 right you have bs 20 let us take m as 4 let us take m as 4 so a mod m is that is 2 right you can see the division it is particularly so b mod m, m is 20 by 4 is exactly divisible so b mod m is 0 now a into b mod m is equals to 200 by 4 so remainder 200 by 4 remainder that is equals to 0 because 200 is ex exactly divisible by 0 and if you multiply these two numbers you will get 0 only so LHS equals to RHS and this property holds this is the first property you should have in mind while dealing with the question we are going to explain right now coming to the brute force approach the brute force approach says that this is actually very simple what will I do I will just multiply x n number of times I will say multiply x and x n number of times that is x into x into x into this is first time, second time, third time and up till nth time, right? And up till nth time and take the mode, percentile mode. And also take their mode also, percentile mode, percentile mode, right? To avoid, what do I want, why I'm taking this mode if this value and this value is actually, uh, is exactly same. The reason behind that is I don't want to get my integer overflowed. See, we all know that integer or long, long integer do have certain memory uh, located to it, right? Suppose int contains 4 bytes of uh, memory and long long int contains 8 bytes of memory. So that means 32 bytes here, 64 bytes here, bits here, right? So the range of int is in the in the higher order of terms is 2 to the power 31 minus 1, right? And similarly it is 2 to the power 63 uh, minus 1, right? So I don't want my answer to expand this to get overflowed with this so that it doesn't pick any garbage value. I want to avoid garbage value. I want to avoid garbage value that is why I am taking mode as much as possible I am taking mode as much as possible as much as possible this is the only reason I am taking mode as much as possible right otherwise the question will remain same the answer will remain same if I take the mode at last also right this is my approach so what is my brute force approach let me write the code for it so my brute force approach is actually very simple I am saying that I have x in my hand, I have x in my hand, I will say my answer equals to x. Now, I have got it, answer equals to 1. Now, for i equals to 0 up till n minus 1 number of times, what will I do? Answer equals to answer star x, right? And after that, answer equals to answer mod x, right? And at last, after uh, mod m, sorry, mod m. Now, you can return answer mod m because that is your answer. The approach is simple but the time complexity is actually a deal of problem here what is the time complexity so you can see it is running n number of times so o of capital n is my time complexity here i don't want that i want to reduce it how can you reduce it let us have a look at that so to reduce the time complexity we will have to understand the concept of power power suppose i have been given that x is 4 n is 8 and m is let's suppose m is not given to you right let us deal with x and n only because I have understood the concept of modulus and I will apply it whenever needed, right? So x equal to 4, n equals to 8. What does it imply? It implies multiply 4, 8 number of times and turn me the answer. That is 4 into 4 into 4 
into 4. This is 4 number of times into 4 into 4 into 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4, right? This means this power of, that is x to the power n means x to the power n. Sorry for hand writing, right? x to the power n is multiply these number of 4s with these number of 4s, right? 8 times write it out. Now, can I say, can I say, instead of multiplying them 8 number of times serially, serially I can say, I will calculate this half first. This half will actually same. This half will actually same because you can see 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 occurring 4 number of times. 4, 4s and here also 4, 4s, right? So I can say, if I get the value of this, I get the value of this, I can say the value will remain same. So I can just say that 4 to the power 8 is equal. So this is 4 to the power 4, right? 4 to the power 4 square. 4 to the power 4 square, right? 4 to the power 4 square. This is my approach. Now, if I try to make it 3, what will it look like? So I can say 4 into 4 into 4 into 4, right? This is my answer. Now I want to get this value. This is 4 into 4 into 4 into 4. I can again split it into 2, right? Let us say this was this was value 1, this is value 2, which is equals to 4 into 4. Again split it 4, 4, right? So now I can say this is value 3. So value 3 is 4. Now here my n was 8. Here my n was 8 by 2. N was 8 by 2, that is 4. Right? Here my n is 4 by 2, that is 2. Here my n is 2 by 2, that is 1. Now the base condition is that if your n is equals to equals to 1, in that case return the value. Because 4 to the power 1 is equal, actually equal to 4, right? If your n is equals to equals to 1, return the value, right? But the case can be that if n is equals to equals to 0, I will tell you the case when we will occur. So if n is equals to equals to 0, in that case return 1, because 4 to the power 0 is 1 or n to the power 0 is 1, right? So these are your base cases. These are your base cases. Now, this was for even. If your n is even, the 8, 4, 2, 1, it is actually very simple. But the problem arises when you cannot split it evenly, when this value and this value are actually not equal. What is that case? So suppose your n is equal to 5, x is equal to 4 and n is equal to 5. So if I try to write it down, 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 into 4. Now, I challenge you to find a way to split it into two halves. I challenge you to find a way to split it into two halves such that multiplication of those two halves are exactly same and it will give me the answer. Not possible, right? Because if I take three here, I will get two here only. If I take two here, I will get three here. That is not possible, right? So I will have to come with a better approach. What will I say that if my n is equals to five, that is n is equals to odd. That means n minus one is equals to four. That will be even. That will be even. So my answer says, hide this 4, take this value, take this value, multiply them, right? And then at last, uh, multiply this 4. Are you able to understand what I am saying? I am saying that if your n is odd, if your n is odd, multiply n minus 1. Go for n minus 1 values. Go for n minus 1 values. And that you have to do. That only you have to do, right? So let me write, write, let me write down the code I discussed with you already, right? Let me write down the code I discussed with you. So what I am saying is, I have got n, I have got x, n and m, right? My code, my brute force code, my, sorry, my pseudo code would do something like this. So if your n is equal to equal to 0, we discuss this base case, return 1. n is equal to equal to 1, this is n guys, n is equal to equal to 1, return your x, given to you, right? x is your value right now, right? Now, what will you do? You will say, my value is equal to, I will calculate for x by 2. I will calculate x, n by 2, m right x n by 2 m now i will say my value equals to value multiplied by value now if my n was odd if n is odd in that case what will you do you will say value equals to x into value right you will place the mod whenever required you can place a mod here you can place a mod here you can place a mod here also right that is not important to us right now and at last return value so if i try to project how the things are working so you can see I will run the two test cases, one for even and one for odd. Let us try with 8 first. So if given 8, you will see I have called for 8. It will get split up here. It will call for 4, right? It will get split up again. It will call for 2. 2 will call for 1. As soon as 1 comes, I will return x. And x is, uh, let's say x is 4. So it will return 4 to you. Now 4 means 4 into 4 because 2 is even. So 4 into 4 only. So it will return 16. 16 is 4 into uh, sorry, 16 is also even, so 16 into 16 is, let us say 16 into 16 only, and then 8 is also even, so 16 into 16, whatever value, let's say this is y, so y into y, 
right so you can see it is working fine but in the case of or how will it work so 9 right let us say 4 to the power 9 no 4 to the power 5 okay let, it, let us keep it small 5 i will say n is not equal to 0 or 1 the value will get split will get split my n is 5 so 5 by 2 integer division will give me 2 5 by 2 integer division will kill me 2 2 will give me 1 and as soon as i 1 so return your 4 2 will turn 4 into 4 4 into 4 and 5 will turn this is 16 so 5 will return 16 into 16 but because 5 is odd i will multiply 5 with it i will multiply 5 with it and return it right this is your answer this is your sorry uh, i will multiply 4 with it not 5 multiply 4 with it right because 5 is odd this is the only approach that i wanted to wanted to discuss with you and this is the actual code right so let us just jump to the code and just jot it down and then end the video all right so here we are but before starting with the video i would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel because it really motivates me i'm able to see my analytics that 80% uh, of you have not subscribed so it will give me a lot of motivation if you have subscribed to my channel if you have already subscribed then a big thanks to you right so let us start with the code so if my n is equals to equal to 0 if my n is equals to equal to 0 I was returning 1 n was equals to equals to 1 return your x as well x as it is moving on I will say long long value equals to the same function power of mod x remains same n by 2 n, n becomes n by 2 and m remains same and I'm remain same now I will say value equals to well first multiply it so value equals to value star value and take a mode just so that it does not get overflowed it does not get overflowed moving on I will say if my n percentile 2 equals to equals to 1 that is it was odd in that case you can say return value multiplied by x and take a mode again take a mode again right otherwise if that is not the case return value return value let us try to run it the code was actually very simple right i don't understand why it is given in the medium section in the gfg i i think they need to reconsider some of the oh there has been some mistake typing mistake it is not mode it is only mod let us try to compile and run it now hope it will work fine in the meantime do consider subscribing to my channel so running fine let us try to submit as well Hope it will work fine. It is taking a lot of okay. 157 days streak. And thank you for watching. You have been a great audience. And thank you for watching. We will meet tomorrow with a new question. Till then, bye bye. Thank you. Have a nice day.